Hi, America. Hi, America. Hi, America. It's me with quarantine hair. Listen, it's kind of crazy out there right now. It's a little bit mad, isn't it? During this crisis, over 37 million people do. don't have access to nutritious food. That's one in 12 seniors and one in seven children. In fact, millions of kids aren't able to receive a free or reduced price school lunch right now. And seniors are self-isolating to protect their health. But that means they can't get access to the food that they need. But there is a way we can all help with Feeding America. Their network of 200 food banks are up and running. Distributing food to people and communities they serve all across the country. If you need help, or if you can help, please visit feedingamerica.org to locate a food bank in your community. You can count on organizations like Feeding America to be there for you. Together. 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 Let's feed the love. We can do this, guys. Welcome back to GMA. A lot of familiar faces there, including our own Robin Roberts um, chipping in. And we want to thank you guys for being here together with us this morning. We're teaming up with Feeding America to raise awareness about the millions of Americans who are worried about getting food on the table right now. That's right. So if you need help right now, reach out. Feeding America is there for you. You can go to our website to learn much more about it. Now let's go back to Lara at home. And Lara, you moved into the kitchen. I did. This is a moving set um, and anything can really happen, but we're going to try to get through it with the help of our resident chef, Mr. Michael Simon, who is also at home. And guys, he's going to fire up a really easy, delicious recipe recipe he's told me about. And I, we want to share it with you. Michael, this is sort of a very simple take on a carbonara pasta, right? Absolutely, Larry. It's a little little riff on a carbonara. Super quick. You can get it on the table in uh, other than cooking the pasta in five minutes or less. So it's fast. You could make it along with me and we could show people. It's it's the pasta you could have for breakfast, which I really like, or lunch or dinner. Yes, <laughs> which I plan to do. I love that. <laughs> you and me both. All right, let's get me to it. Me and Lizzie are going to have this for breakfast. So the first thing that we have is I have some bacon going in the pan, um, about eight ounces of bacon that we let crisp. It's a commercial I drop the pasta. I have rigatoni going, but any noodle that you have will work in this situation. Rigatoni takes about eight minutes ish to cook. So as the pasta is, as the bacon is crisping, I'm going to add my peas. You could use fresh, frozen, uh, any kind of peas you could get your hands on right now. Work in this. This is a great pantry dish. If you don't have peas, you could use other vegetables too. So that's going. And then I have two cloves of garlic. You could smash or slice these, whatever you prefer, or grate it on a little microplane. Any of those methods work. This I, I'm not going to lie, Michael. I, I used my chopper so, before the show because I, I, because I was I concerned that. that I would be a little distracted and could hurt myself. <laughs> I don't want you to hurt yourself. We, this is fun, happy cooking. Now, once the garlic goes in, it, it cooks really quick. So you're going to put in about two, uh, six ounces or so of pasta water which is going to start churning into your sauce. It's going to mix with the bacon fat. It's going to uh, stop the garlic from cooking, and everything's going to come together, and it's going to blend. Hey, Michael, pizza. what now, should I have, I have my heat on? I'm over um, about medium-ish with the heat. So okay. medium to medium high, you're good. So then, Larry, you should have three eggs Doke. cracked. I'm going to put in a half yep. cup of, I'm using parm, but any hard cheese will work. I have fresh mint and a little bit of parsley because I didn't have enough mint. And then you could put in some cracked black pepper. And even if you want to get slightly fancy, a little bit of nutmeg and a couple glugs of extra virgin olive oil. And now you whisk this together till it gets nice and smooth. This is like a great little pro tip to get your cheese, your eggs, your herbs, your seasonings all mixed. And then it's easier to add it into our pasta. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? I, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm having a hard time communicating because I have to focus so hard on this. Um, but it's <laughs> very easy, everyone. It's, it's looking. I like actually, quick, it's looking like a meal. And I know you're a good, quick, good cook. So quit fibbing to me. So let's see where our pasta is here. Our pasta is just about ready. So, Blair, here's a, another great tip for the people at home. You could temper your eggs a little bit. So if you take a little bit of your mm -hmm. pasta water and just slowly drizzle it into your egg mixture, 
it's gonna it's gonna get the Wait. eggs used oh, to that shoot. temperature. Uh -oh. So that way, it's like I, when you're getting Is it okay in a hot that I tub. put my eggs in? Michael, I think I did a boo boo. I put my eggs in what? with the bacon and the peas. Was that not a good thing? That's well, because it, it looks like an omelet gonna, now. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more scrambly, but it's still going to be delicious. So, watch the way that I do it is once the pasta is cooked, which this is looking good. Pasta's ready. We're going to take the pasta and put it into our bacon, pea, garlic, pasta water mixture, and then. At the very end, once I turn the heat off, then I'm going to mix in my egg cheese mixture. It just, that way the eggs get oh, creamy man. into a sauce as opposed to scrambled. You're fine. Don't worry. Don't panic. So, you can All see right. here, I got it like this. In goes our eggs. Now I mix, yeah. mix, mix. Yours looks a little you different than mine. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I've been cooking for a long time, so we have that. So that you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and you could be off yeah you know honestly i think i'm gonna be fine i would say to i would say to america the only thing that's gonna be different about mine is my my bacon won't be as crispy but honestly it looks really good and it smells really good so as long yeah, as it's, it's thoroughly be, cooked i think i'm fine you're good and then look you just spoon this on it's a little you know bacon and eggs for breakfast so you take that pasta that creamy yeah. carbonara like sauce you could finish this with a little bit of cheese if you want. You could finish it with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. But here's to you, Lara, and all the people at GMA and all oh, the thank people you. watching at home. It is okay to have pasta for breakfast. I wish I could get a delivery of yours because yours looks a lot better than mine. But America, I got to believe if I can do it while trying to focus on live TV, so can you. Michael Simon, let's keep doing this. I promise I'll get better. Keep the recipes coming. Love you I know guys. we're putting it on our website for you all at goodmorningamerica.com. Cheers, Michael. See you soon. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.